Welcome to Edison TV. I'm Trinity Chavez. The World Health Organization has declared that antimicrobial resistance, AMR as it's known, is one of the top 10 health threats facing humanity and has warned that radical change is needed in the fight against it. Created by the misuse and overuse of antibiotics, AMR threatens the effective treatment of an ever-increasing range of infections, and the problem is getting worse. Edison client Opgen is on a mission to break the AMR cycle. It has developed a new generation of testing technologies that help clinicians provide the most effective antimicrobial treatments for infectious diseases. So I'm delighted Opgen CEO Oliver Schacht is here today with us to give us the latest update on the company's progress. Welcome, Oliver. Thanks, Trinity. Good to be here. Well, tell us about how you're fighting AMR together with your subsidiaries and changing infectious disease diagnostics. Well, Option as a group is a precision medicine company, and our focus is on molecular diagnostics of life-threatening infectious diseases. At Option Group, we focus on bacterial and fungal infections and their antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. We have FDA-cleared and CE-marked products that are commercially available today. Via our subsidiary Curatus in Germany, we develop and commercialize our Univero platform, a simple-to-use, sample-to-answer platform for broad syndromic testing. Here at Option in the U.S., we've developed and gotten FDA clearance for the Acuitas AMR gene panel. And at our Vienna, Austria-based Iris Genetics subsidiary, we develop and commercialize next-generation sequencing or NGS-based solutions for AMR detection using machine learning and artificial intelligence-based bioinformatics. But really, the way to think about Option is one globally active company with three major platforms or product brands, Univero, Acutus, and Aris. Can we talk about Curatus's lead product, the Univero Diagnostic System? What does it do and what makes it unique? Well, let's look at what multiplex PCR testing and syndromic panels are all about in simple terms. Diseases or syndromes, such as pneumonia or urinary tract infections or bloodstream infections or joint infections, etc., can all be caused by dozens and dozens of potential pathogens, bacterial or fungal. Therefore, in order to comprehensively cover a specific disease or syndrome, we need tests that from a single patient sample in a single run allow testing for a lot of these pathogens. Univero tests have the highest level of multiplexing, i.e. they test for the highest number of different bacteria and fungi in order to ensure that doctors can cover the waterfront of potential pathogens. What also sets Univero apart and makes it quite unique is that each of our test cartridges not only covers the relevant pathogens, but our Univero test panels also cover the broadest number and range of genetic AMR markers available today. That way, we can inform treating physicians not only about the causative pathogen, but also about its resistance profile. Another key aspect and USP of our Univero platform is the ability to work from any native clinical patient sample. There is no need to manually pre-treat or handle the samples before starting a Univero run. This has to do with the unique Univero Lysator that automatically handles sample prep by combining patented technologies and processes. This saves valuable hands-on time and reduces the time to result from several days with conventional culture-based methods to just a few short hours with Univero. Our Univero A50 platform is our current workhorse. It is an FDA-cleared and CEIVD marked instrument platform that with just two minutes of hands-on time, allows to test from anywhere from 40 to over 100 pathogens and AMR markers in a single run. Time to result is four to five hours, and you're talking about a $50,000 plus instrument and cartridges that typically sell for $120 to $180 with an average selling price of around $150. Our next generation Univero system, the A30RQ platform, where RQ stands for rapid and quantitative, is a much smaller, faster, and cheaper system. It also just needs two minutes hands-on time, but time to result can be as fast as under 30 minutes, and most tests will need somewhere between 45 and 90 minutes. 
Typical tests will cover maybe 10 to a maximum of 30 diagnostic targets in one run in a single cartridge. At scale, we expect the system to cost less than $10,000 and also the cost of goods for an A30 cartridge compared to an A50 cartridge at scale will be around 60 to 80% lower. That allows developing a complementary and synergistic portfolio of tests that are lower multiplex, shorter time to result, and will likely come at a per test price that's gonna be well below $100. Oliver, you recently completed patient sample enrollment for your Univero UTI panel, which is the second panel being targeted in the U.S. market following your LRT panel. Congratulations, by the way. Tell us more about the target market and its potential. Thank you. Well, indeed, it was great seeing the team completing a major prospective multicenter clinical trial in the U.S. on the Univero A50 platform on time and enrolling over 1,800 patient samples. The Univero UTI, or urinary tract infection cartridge, is targeting complicated, for example, chronic or recurring UTIs. Here in the U.S., there are over a million patients each year with complicated UTIs. Many of these patients are hospitalized, and these complicated UTIs can lead to serious consequences, such as urosepsis and even death. Tentatively, we're looking at a couple of months for the completion of all of the reference testing and the final data readout, which we anticipate late in the fourth quarter of this year. It is important to note that we do rely on external third-party reference labs to complete the reference testing to ensure that in addition to the Univero UTI data and the local clinical trial site microbiology culture results, we also have standardized central microbiology culture results for all samples as well as sequencing data in this clinical trial. Once we have all of the data analyzed, we'll prepare the submission package to the FDA. Again, that's a highly involved and complex process that I would estimate to take another couple of weeks so that we should have a submission into the FDA at some point between the end of this year and early 2023. Following the Inovero A50 UTI product, we'll be looking to develop and bring into clinical trials our first products on the Univero A30 platform. These will include an invasive joint infection or IJI panel, as well as a panel focused on AMR markers from blood cultures for low and middle income countries under our fine collaboration. Great. And can we also talk about your most recent announcement of an R&D collaboration with FIND, the Global Nonprofit Alliance for Diagnostics and the KFW Bank in Germany? Why is this link up so significant and what will the feasibility study be focusing on? FIND is a Swiss-based NGO that focuses exclusively on novel diagnostic products and platforms, and their focus is typically on bringing such products into low and middle income countries or LMICs. Given the favorable cost profile of the Univero A30 platform, from both an instrument as well as a per test cartridge perspective, and the robustness and ability to deploy such systems standalone in low resource settings and develop them such that they can deal, for example, with fluctuations in electrical grid and other environmental stress factors such as heat, humidity, dust, and other ruggedness factors, was key in Fine's decision to support the Univero A30 platform. The initial feasibility phase, which has begun in September and is expected to wrap up by the end of March 2023, is expected to deliver a number of proof of concept milestones and will focus on detecting pathogens and AMR markers from common blood culture bottles. The 700,000 euro co-funding by FIND and German KFW Bank will also allow us to develop prototypes of a dedicated A30 touchscreen cockpit that will be suitable for the environment in these low and middle income countries. What makes the FIND collaboration so intriguing is that both parties, i.e. curators and FIND, have acknowledged in the contract agreement that in order to develop any products through the required clinical trials and regulatory submissions towards a commercial arrangement for a list of LMICs will require a separate contract, which both parties expect to talk about in the second quarter of 2023, once the feasibility data is available. Find has a track record of doing deals in other areas, such as COVID testing or tuberculosis, that can range from the low to mid single digit million euros, all the way up to several tens of millions in funding deployed 
in individual strategic collaborations. Therefore, a successful feasibility study and the next phase of the collaboration has significant upside potential for Option and our subsidiary curators. Now, the FIND project comes hot on the heels of having launched next generation sequencing services in the U.S. developed by Iris Genetics. Tell us about this. Indeed, just a few weeks ago, we launched the Iris ISS or Isolate Sequencing Services from our Rockville, Maryland lab here at Option. This allows us to serve U.S. customers directly from Option in the United States and provide easy access to our Iris technologies and offerings from a U.S. commercial lab. Also, our NGS lab services here in the U.S. facilitate an expedited turnaround on the NGS work related to the Univero UTI clinical trial. And finally, what are some of the key upcoming developments investors should look out for in the next 12 to 18 months? There are really several key catalysts and milestones upcoming for Option that are exciting and that shareholders should watch out as they could help crystallize the value inherent in our platforms and products. We'll provide regular quarterly updates on our commercial progress with a core focus on Univero and Acuitas product sales in the U.S., as well as our global Univero distribution business. Of course, the final data readout and uh, FDA submission and eventual FDA clearance decision on our Univero UTI product are front and center here. The FIND project and Univero A30-based IJI clinical trial, which we expect to get underway in 2023, subject to securing the required financing and funding for it. And then, of course, we continue working with our partners in China on the Univero pneumonia clinical study. And as soon as COVID restrictions are lifted, such that these clinical studies can actually be conducted at the three hospitals in China, we'll get that underway. And we'll be working towards final NMPA submission, review, and eventual clearance. Upon NMPA approval, there is a commercial contract potentially worth up to $180 million with option already in place over an eight-year period following NMPA approval. And we're also really excited about the progress we've made at ARIS with our ARIS database, ARIS cloud, ARIS ISS, and ARIS IT services from our labs in Vienna, Austria, as well as Rockville, Maryland. This allows us to not only provide commercial services, but also enables potential strategic collaborations with a number of partners in the diagnostics, pharmaceutical, and NGS industries. Of course, we'll provide updates on any deals that we enter into for our RS assets and offerings. Well, thank you so much, Oliver. It's really been fascinating to hear about your progress and the roadmap ahead. Thank you so much, Trinity. Great being here. Well, that's it for today. If you'd like to know more about Opgen, read Edison's latest research updates, and you can also follow their stock on our website. Thanks again for joining us. Until next time.